Today, we're going to go over how to integrate System IO custom domains with your domain on GoDaddy. We're going to go over DNS settings and how to integrate them from System IO to GoDaddy. So first, what we're going to do is head to the top right corner in System IO and click on settings. You're going to to do that. You're going to hover over the little person icon. And then when the menu pops up, you're going to click on settings. Then over on the left, you are going to head down to custom domains and click on that. You will see that there is a .system.io domain that they have created for you. It could look like just about anything. Um, usually it's going to look at like the beginning of your email address. Since mine is simple and is just my name, it's a little bit different. Um, but like, you know, it could be the money marketer dot system dot io if you have like a gmail account that's um that has a longer name on the front so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head to godaddy and we are going to head down click on your name and go to my products after you sign in i am then going to scroll down until i find the um domain that i want to use and let's see um, I'm kind of a domain hoarder. I don't know if you can tell. So I'm going to use the old fangled co. I'm going to copy that and take it back over to my dashboard and I'm going to click add domain. And here I'm going to type in www dot and then paste my domain. Um, it is required that you have www dot before your custom domain in system IO. You will get an error if you don't. You'll notice here that there is a link to click on that will show you um, an article on how to integrate your DNS. Um, and uh, you can choose to click on that if you want. I'm going to hit save. And this takes a few seconds, so I apologize for the delay. And here are the DNS configurations you're going to need to do in GoDaddy. Um, we do suggest using GoDaddy because it is the easiest to integrate, but there are, you know, some quirks like there are with everything. Um, and then you'll notice here again, you have the link to read this article and it will take you how to, and show you how to do it, um, integrate it, um, in a few different ways, but a lot of us find it easier to watch videos. And so that is the point of this video. I'm going to X out of this just to show you one more way you can access this. Um, and that is to go back to your custom domains. You'll see that the my old fangled co is pending validation. And if you click on show instructions, again, you can access your DNS configuration for your domain. So we are going to start with the top one. We are going to completely ignore what's on the left hand side. And that is because we are not going to need it to integrate our C names. So we're going to go over to the right hand side on the top and we are going to copy that string of letters and numbers dot cloudfront.net. We are then going to go over to our GoDaddy products. And again, where we have the domain we want, we're going to click on DNS. Okay. So as you can see, we have a www dot set up that directs to the oldfangledco.com. What we are going to do is go in and edit that. And we're going to leave www, but where it has the value of your domain, you are going to paste in that um, .cloudfront.net information that you copied from system IO and hit save. Now that that is updated, we are going to create a new record, and this is going to be for the second DNS setting on the um, system IO page. It is going to be a C name. And then what we are going to do is go back to our dashboard and we are going to copy everything before the period, just before your domain name. So just before the period, all the way to the front to that underscore, we are going to copy and we're going to paste that in the blog name or shop. And then we're going to go back and we are going to copy everything on the right hand side. And that is going to go under the value. Once that is complete, you are going to click save. And you are in good shape. Now it can take 24 to 48 hours 
for your domain to get hooked up. I do recommend that you screenshot your domain settings. Um, I have this handy dandy tool that I use um, called Awesome Screenshot, but screenshot this and just uh, capture and save, download, and um, then if you have any issues after 48 hours, like your, um, your account still says pending validation, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the help tab. This is only after 48 hours if it still has not been verified. Um, and then you're, you're going to go to the help and then you're going to go to contact form. Once you're there, you're going to scroll all the way down. You're going to put your name and your email address. Um, I'm not going to put a full email address. And then you're going to type, uh, I am having issues with my DNS settings, validating. I input them over 48 hours ago. And my domain isn't verified. I have added a screenshot of my DNS settings for reference. Please help. Excuse my misspellings. And then you're going to attach your file. Um, downloads. Open that and then click I am not a robot and then you're going to hit submit. I am not going to do that because I have not waited 48 hours. But that is exactly what you'll do if you do not get um, your domain verified within 48 hours. And um, they will respond to you and they will have either fixed it or they will tell you exactly what you need to do in order to get it fixed. So that is how you integrate your DNS settings with System.io and GoDaddy.